What's going on, Comic Book Nation? I'm here with the cast of Amazon's new original series, The Tick. What's going on, everybody? A lot of Ooh, we're hunting. hunting. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so The Tick, we got coming to Amazon on August 25th. Tell me a little bit about it. What can fans expect from, uh, from the new series? Well, um... Griffin. <laughs>, Laughs, thrills, chills, adventure, friendship, terror, spoon. Yeah, <laughs> all of the above. Yeah, uh, it's a fun show, I agree, isn't it? I agree. Yeah. We've saw we've all seen no seriously we've all seen the show now, yeah. haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. It's yeah, it's really, it's really it's good. It's really nice. I like watching it. Uh, it's very optimistic. I just say it's it very is. joyful. Yeah. There's yeah. like the humor isn't mean at all. There's no cynicism. It's very just. It's delightful. I'm yeah. tickled. I always describe I, the yeah. show to people as like a romantic comedy between the tick and I. I think it is like, you know, okay. it's the two of us learning to love each other. Yeah. yeah. In and all yourself. the physical sense. Yeah. 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 And there's a lot of really yourself. gritty sex scenes as well. Like there's, oh, there's okay. a lot of there nudity. Are. Right. There's yeah. a lot yes. of nudity. Um, I think also <laughs> it, it does have, it, it's got a, it, it's got a lot of heart, which yes. there's, yes. there's a kind of thing where I, I think, mm -hmm. you know, I know we were talking about it last yeah. night, you know, about like how. We're sharing a hotel room, but. Uh, We've just become codependent. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to, like, you don't have yeah. to tell. Anyway. <laughs> you always do this. Uh, the, 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 it does things that are kind of not, haven't been fashionable, I, I, I think. Mm -hmm. It's got a sweetness about it. And also, it's got like the tick as a as a as a as a character as my character i think uh, also has got like a superhero ness that is so pure and like old fashioned mm -hmm. that, that 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 seems to not be in vogue that much mm -hmm. anymore do you know what i mean mm -hmm. a bit like like how uh, christopher reeve's superman was or or adam west batman you know that like a kind of straightforward you know ness to it you yes. know it's also like it's this very absurd comedy with these crazy ideas but with real characters that you can invest in emotionally so it's like what if airplane was funny but you also cared about the people you know mm. what if you were worried every time uh, frank drebin went into action in naked gun like that's what <laughs> yeah, we're that's trying to do yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> that's our goal that's yeah. a good example but, but, but i think as well, right? I can. I, I. I feel like I can say that I think the show is good because it's not like I don't feel like I'm the star of the show because it's an ensemble. Mm -hmm. Definitely an ensemble. I mean, he's the real star of the show. But uh, the it, it, it it's it, it. I mean, it is, isn't it? Having watched the sh having watched the sh there are so many different stories going on, and everyone everyone compliments each other. Um, uh, on their performances. No, no, I just, do you know what? I, I'm, I'm, I'm so frazzled. I, I don't know what no, I'm saying. I think, I think, no, I think you're, literally you're what you're saying, saying is, it's kind of like this thing, you know, it's definitely a parody, a comic book parody, but it's like not everybody is, is just, it's really grounded. And I think Arthur and, uh, and Dot, um, uh, Griffin, Val really kind of, I think help ground it. They're, they're the most real. It's not to say that there's a lot of funny stuff still kind of going on. My character is just, Evil incarnate, you know. Period. He just no reason. <laughs> he just does. But he, but, but he is real as well. Every, you play him real. Well, there's yeah. There's definitely there, we're grounding every you know. So we're trying to own everything and play everything in such a way that I think, I think we really earn the laughs, mm -hmm. and the grounding earns the ability for the tick to be, you know, super funny and super ridiculous. But like he said, he also has has this heart. He's the epitome of. You know the perfect superhero whose intentions. You know he doesn't have this dark backstory that he's dealing with. He's actually trying to figure out who the heck he is. But yeah. and all of his intentions are always the right, perfect intentions. And he's helping Arthur figure out who he is, and Arthur is helping the Tick figure out who he is. I mean, Tick's entirely driven by a totally selfless sense of goodness. You know, he just believes in in being good and stopping bad. And kindness, uh, you know, he doesn't know exactly how to execute that, which is where maybe like Arthur comes in. But I, I do think the thing I love about the show is I watch the episodes and I feel like any character could be the main character. Like I could watch an entire show just about Ms. Lint, you know, and I'd be thrilled. But to watch this show with all these characters that all have such exciting lives, it's a, it's an embarrassment of riches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's, that's I mean, it, it comes it comes through. It's also like the way that Ben. Like in the writing, I can remember going going into his office and asking him for advice on a scene and just the way that he described Miss Lent, he was just like, you know, she's stuck in a rut. She thought her life was going to go one way 
And then all of a sudden, she woke up one day and she's like, how did I get here? Yeah. Like, why do I have this job? Why am I working for this moron? And even though <laughs> she's a supervillain and she wants to take over the world and, you know, create, like, havoc and evil, those, that's something that, like, it's very relatable. It's very human, which I just, I find fascinating. Well, and all the characters were treated with that level of seriousness and sensitivity, regardless of how heightened they are. Um, you know, Dot and Arthur, I think, are very much the most human and grounded in that way, but they're no more complex than anyone else. And that's what's really unique is with the show, we're able to comment on the superhero landscape while still, as Griffin said, having real characters that you can actually get invested in and you can actually connect to. Um, they don't just exist as devices within a conversation about superheroes. Right. Because, like, Ms. Lynn on another show would just be the henchwoman, would be the muscle, and her right. job would just be to be scary and look cool. But then we go and see Ms. Lynn's apartment and her ex-husband <laughs> and all these weird aspects to her history, you yeah. know? And looking at herself in the mirror and just all that backstory you just said, you could just, you see it in one shot. Yeah. Just, you, what, have, what have I done with my life? You know, <laughs> you see it in your eyes, you know, and like... She's uh, a has-been super mm -hmm. villain, you know? Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and anyway... She's stuck uh, in the 90s. <laughs> She's stuck in the 90s. She's, She's coming back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. We're all looking forward to seeing the take. August 25th, Amazon Prime Video. Can't wait for the debut. Thank you guys for coming by. Yay! Yay! Comic Thanks. books.